The WISIS conference of 2015 is, of course, hosted by the International Telecommunication Union. And the Secretary General of the ITU is Hulin Zhao. Mr. Zhao, welcome. Thank you. Mr. Zhao, the broad aim of the WISIS conference and forum is to create an information society for all. How does this conference contribute concretely to that goal? Yeah, we are still in the process to look at the progress we have uh, tried over the last 10 years to connect uh, the information society for all. But if you look at the actual situation, we find that uh, we still, unfortunately, uh, a little bit far away from our goals to have everybody connected. And particularly for those who are not connected yet, to reach these people is a challenge to us. And also, on the other hand, we would like to see, you know, how can we make our society with new technologies be more important to, you know, to change people's life, to make economic, you know, development. And this kind of importance of ICT as enablers for economy, for driving forces to change people's life, I think that still were to be further exploited. And uh, I think that uh, we have a lot of challenges here. So we have to, to organize this uh, platform, uh, this event, uh, to mobilize uh, all the family members come together to review the progress, to see the challenges in front of us, and then to work hard to reach our goals. 2015 was originally marked down as a time to achieve the goals of the WISIS conference and summits. What progress can we point to? Our, over the last 10 years, we have achieved a lot. Today, among 7.3 billion population, we almost have 7.3 billion mobile subscriptions. 10 years ago, nobody can imagine that way. So that is a marvelous uh, achievement. And we also have one third of population already online. So this is also a marvelous achievement. And we are talking about uh, information society, and we really enjoy the information we can you know, access. This is marvelous. But on the other hand, you will see that two-thirds of people are still not online yet. And if you look at this uh, mobile uh, subscriptions, almost uh, everyone has one. But uh, if you see this reality, you know, that uh, I, I think that many people have more than one mobile. So if that uh, figure divided by two, which means still half population not uh, enjoy this uh, modern technology yet. And this uh, is a challenge to us because those people in the remote area, in the poor area, which have not enjoyed these uh, new technologies, are those uh, uh, you know, areas you may not see a big profit to have uh, investment there. So how can we mobilize our resources to reach these people in a shortest uh, period of time. That is, uh, this morning I got the message from Mr. Bill Gates, and he wrote to me and expected his wish to see we use the new technologies to reach those poor people in shortest period of time. So that is a challenge to us. This year marks the termination of the Millennium Development Goals. There are new goals to replace them, the Sustainable Development Goals. How has WISIS and the ITU changed its priorities to match that new agenda? Yeah, you see that uh, we set up some goals uh, at the second phase of WISIS, which was uh, concluded uh, November 2005. And among several goals we put, there's one goal, for example, to connect all schools. But today, you look, look at the reality. Many schools are not connected yet, particularly from developing areas. So this is a challenge to us. And we also realize that uh, although these uh, uh, technologies already reached uh, um, you know, many countries in 95% uh, of the territory or the others, but still not people, everybody enjoys these new technologies. But the problem is whether we have potential to reach those areas, to reach those people quickly or not, that is the challenge. As I mentioned, you know, you have problem of uh, profit making, the investment from these areas, and you have also problem to really, you know, find enough resources to put there. So this is uh, uh, somehow a problem for us. 
Millennium uh, development goals give us uh, eight goals, and among these eight goals, we don't find any reference to ICT, to technology. Now, with the new goals, Sustainable Development Goals, SDG, we have already established, still wait to uh, be approved finally, but already established the 17 goals. Among these 17 goals, we have found some reference to ICT as enablers, as uh, yeah, the driving forces to improve the life. Out of 17 goals, only four of them make some reference to ICT. So in my opinion, it's not enough. And partly because perhaps uh, people consider that the ICT made uh, enormous uh, progress over the last uh, decade. Therefore, we don't need to worry too much about uh, this industry. Partly, perhaps because they consider this is not uh, linked with those like uh, poverty, like uh, in a road, like uh, water, uh, so, so, so important. That is uh, some problem for us. So that uh, we, we see some dangers here. So we would like to work hard with our members, with the industry, with partners, to highlight the importance of ICT and the telecommunication tools, but also to highlight uh, the challenges in front of us, so that we, we will work hard to make this business sustainable with uh, you know, enough uh, attention from our global family. At this conference, there are many delegates, 1,500 at last count, and the big companies are represented international organizations but I also note here we have smaller companies, small and medium-sized enterprises, we might say, NGOs, charities too. What role do they have to play in setting the new agenda? I'm very pleased to see that more and more small, medium-sized entrepreneurs, startups, brought to our forum to show their potentials, which will bring their contributions to development of information society. Because these people, they have uh, marvelous knowledge of ICT technologies. They have a very good understanding of their own national market. They have a fantastic idea to contribute with their own solutions to the development of ICT in their country, in their continent. And this will greatly contribute to the you know, rapid development of ICT. Without them, I don't believe we will be able to reach our goals. So that is one of the you know, development, uh, I've, I'm very, very, very much, uh, you know, interested. And I like to, to support SMEs. I like to support government's, uh, you know, facilitate uh, roles to, to support their SMEs. I like to create an international platform to encourage them to have international networking, share their experiences, you know, look at their challenges, and uh, perhaps even form some partnership among themselves. I'm pretty sure big companies, small, medium-sized companies, if they all work together, I think that uh, our world will be changed uh, much, much rapidly. Then we just leave to some big guys and don't uh, pay attention to the small, medium-sized uh, entrepreneurs. They have uh, potentials of innovation. They have uh, potentials of uh, economic development. They have potentials to reach out to every corner, everywhere in the world, so that everybody could enjoy our uh, information society's benefit. Mr. Hulin Zhao, thank you very much for your time today. You're welcome.